Hey guys, today we are learning Divided by Darkness. This was a request. This is my favorite song from the album Divided by Darkness. It's one of my favorite Spirit of Drift songs and one of my favorite songs I've ever written. And it's a lot of fun to play. I'm making this a two-parter because some of it's pretty tricky. There's a lot going on, especially in the clean section. So clean section will be the next video. Today we'll just be working on all the, the heavy stuff. So we're in drop B tuning. Uh, the verse and intro is based around this seventh fret power chord there. Seven, seven, seven. Index finger, right? Close up and all your action is up here on the higher strings. We start on the third and second string. That's nine, ten, eight, ten, nine. And then we drop down. Four string. That's ten on the four string and then nine and seven on the uh, third string. Then we drop down. The next one, everything's on the fourth string. That is seven, ten, nine, ten, seven. And then the last part is a dyad here at the eighth and seventh fret on the fifth and fourth string, and then the open third string. Creepy sounding, so very slowly. Too, everybody together. It's uh, it's easy to play it all just kind of straight, but hit those accents. Da, 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 makes it uh, makes it move a little bit. Okay, so the verses right on that same power chord, right? And I to. To introduce the verse, I'm very hard, right? Just hang out right there. Then when we uh, when we actually come in with the verse, we're playing that chord right there, seven, seven, ten, and then we drop down to nine, and we drop down to seven. It's fucking hammering her right here. It's kind of like the only black metal sounding thing that we've ever done, but uh, it works. It sounds like Spirit of Drift. Somehow. pick that. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 9, 8, 7, 6, and I play them as power chords. So here's what we got. Just keep working on it. Two right there. Up to twelve. That's twelve, thirteen, twelve, eleven, six. So, and man, don't feel bad if it takes a while here. Like making that right hand and left hand sync up, it's not easy. I get it. I fucking played that a thousand times a day leading up to the recording of that album, and I still struggle a little bit. Though. chorus instead of doing that you just go all open open power chord. 
Chorus starts on the second fret. So that's just chugging on two and then three, two, open. And hit a power chord, eight, ten on the fifth string. So that is the fourth string. Starting here at uh, the seventh fret. Six, seven, six, and eight on the fifth string. And of course, feel free as always. So the next one is a power chord at three and five on the fifth string. Fifth string, five, seven, eight, and then six on the fourth string. So when you put it all together, all the heavy stuff. There's some distorted guitar later on in the song, but it's lead work, and I'm just going to show you that when I show you the clean guitar parts. And if you thought this was convoluted and fucking confusing, just wait till the next video. Alright, see you then. <laughs>